How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove carpet from your bull nose steps. Stick around and see how we do it. Okay, so these are the tools that we're going to be using to do this little job. We're going to be using a floor scraper. It's a four inch razor scraper. It has a razor blade here and that is going to be to scrape staples off of the steps. Here I've got a staple puller for the hard to get ones and also a pair of channel locks just in case we need those to pull some stubborn staples out of the steps, okay? And also we have a hammer and a pry bar for pulling the tack strip off, okay? Now that we went through that, let's get to the demolition. Okay, so to get this carpet started, it's gonna be really hard to actually grab and pull it up if it's installed properly. If it's not very tight and this carpet has been on the steps for a really long time, a lot of times you can just grab a hold of it and pull it up. But since these have not been installed that long, the carpet on them is still really nice and tight. So I'm gonna take a pair of channel locks right here or a pair of pliers, whichever that you have handy. And I'm just gonna grab the fibers on it and get it started like that. Once I get it started up, then I can simply take my hand and pull it off, okay? Sometimes these uh, carpets will be actually stapled back here and on the sides and stuff, depending on who done it and how much experience they had installing, okay? So the less staples, the better, obviously, for the tear out. So after we get that started here, now regardless, there's gonna be a nice amount of staples underneath of this overlap right here or the bull nose as some people would call it so rather than taking and pulling straight out on your step like that right there which makes it pretty tough to do because you're pulling on the whole piece all at once okay so what i like to do i will actually pull this way and then this way on one side from the other so i'm going that way and then this way and i'm only working on one side and then the other side, rather than pulling on the whole entire step, okay? It just makes it easier to get off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take and grab one side, pull on one side, and then pull on the other side. Now I've just got a little spot in the center. I can pull straight down on it. Now even that, even that was a little bit tough. Now that we got it again, this tread part will come up easily. The main part that's going to be stuck is under the bull nose, unless, now unless somebody staples it back here on the back in the gully rather than using tack strip, okay? So once again, I'm going to pull one side, one side, and the other side. Okay, again, we're underneath the bull nose there. Take one side and then the other side. Now, don't get me wrong, it makes it easier, but it's still not going to be easy, okay? This is pretty, it, I can't say it, it is rough, but it can be pretty rough if the installation was done properly, okay? So now that we got the carpet out of the way, let's go ahead and rip off the pad. Alrighty. So this is only stapled on the back and the edges and underneath of here, but it's pad, okay? It's not carpet. It's not really hard to deal with. It'll actually just rip. So just get you a place started and start ripping it off. Simple as that. You don't have to be super neat with it or anything like that. Simply want to get the pad off of the step and that is it, okay? We will deal with the staples after we get that off. Now that we got the staple, the pad off of the step, uh, I, I want to caution you to be careful when doing so because these staples in the pad will actually get pulled part way out sometimes. And now I just have a little uh, one end of the step or staple right here. And as you can see, I done got myself just a little bit. So these things will definitely poke you. So be careful. Sometimes on the front of the step, they're actually under the stair nose or under the bull nose right there. So you just gotta be careful because these staples will definitely bite you, okay? They have no mercy. But before we go getting these out, I wanna clear everything off of this step before I go dealing with the staples. It's just gonna make it easier to do. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take up the tack strip real quick. To do that, I've got my hammer and pry bar. Now, I want you to take note here. I'm gonna put my pry bar right underneath of the nail, okay? That way my tack strip 
is not breaking all up, it's going to come off as I pull the nail up, okay? So you always, always want to put your pry bar under where it is secured to the floor, step, whatever you're working on. If you start here in the middle and these are nails are holding really good, a lot of times this is just going to break right here and then you're still going to have the nail to deal with. So it's definitely best just to go ahead and put your pry bar under the nail. Okay, so that didn't take too long. Now let's go ahead and start working on the stairs. To do that, to do all of this flat surface right here, I'm going to use my four inch razor scraper. And I do have a new blade in this. I've had the same blade for a long time, but I wanted to change it. This blade now is going to be sharp enough where it's actually going to get a bite on the staples and actually pull out the whole staple. Some people think, nah, it's not pulling it. It's just pushing them over and making it flat. That's not the case, okay? Maybe if you're using a shovel or a scraper that's not a razor scraper, it might do that. It might knock out the piece of pad like so and just leave a little bit and the staple not the case with the razor scraper okay the razor scraper is going to actually get a bite on the staple itself and pull it completely out of there see that there and there is only left with holes and it's not not rough to do whatsoever so look at there all of them right there are completely gone okay have no staples left whatsoever and again I'm going to go over the entire flat surface with this and even what I can do on the nose of this with this scraper because this is the fastest and most efficient way to do this little job right here okay if you're doing one staple at a time by hand it takes time and it will get sore on your hand right here okay so the more you can do with this scraper, the better off you're going to be, okay? Now, this is a rounded bull nose, so it's a little bit rougher than a square one. However, it definitely still works. Look there, I shaved a little part of it right there. So we want to be careful on that. I might get stuck with a few left right in the center because my scraper won't fit in the center of the step without banging the wall over here or vice versa side. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there because this is rounding, it is digging in the wood just a little bit. So I've already got uh, one end of these staples are sticking out a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab my channel locks and simply pull them out like so, okay? All you gotta do is grab a hold of them and pull them out and they will come out, okay? We're gonna be left with a little bit of staples under the bull nose from the electric staple gun which was actually uh, shot through the carpet instead of the pad okay those are going to need to come out too even if you're just installing carpet you need to try to get all the staples out you can so that you're not just left with a whole cluster of staples after installing uh, one or two times a lot of guys will not pull staples out and then you're left with a mess so always, even again, if you're going back with carpet, it don't matter if you're solid surface or going back with carpet, always clean your steps up, always get all the staples out if possible, okay? I know some staples will be absolutely sunk in where you gotta get a screwdriver and literally dig them out and stuff like that. If that's the case, by all means, leave it in there, okay? But most of them are not gonna be that way, okay? Most of them are gonna be able to be grabbed and pulled out. Okay, so I know a lot of people, whenever they are pulling off their carpet and pad of the steps, they want to either refinish the hardwood that's on the steps or the treads that's on them. So they want to get it out with the least amount of damage as possible, okay? So this step right here, I'm going to show you how to do the stuff with the least amount of damage as possible. Uh, the tack strip is going to be the exact same. Pulling off the pad is going to be the same. The only difference is pulling the staples okay we do not want to use the scraper on this step because it's just going to dig in just like you've seen here it dug in a little bit here 
which is okay if you're going back with another product. But again, if you're wanting to clean them up and salvage what you've got here, you want to do that with the least amount of damage as possible. So I'm fixing to show you how to get these staples out without affecting your risers or your treads, okay? And that is gonna be done with this little tool right here. This is an actual staple puller, so you will actually put the staple, put this little lip right here under the staple. When you pry down, see this right here will close up on that right there. So when you prize down, the more you pull down, the better bite this little tool will get on your staples. And again, this is pretty smooth right here on the bottom of this uh, staple puller, so it's not gonna cause any damage to your tread or the floor, whatever you're using that you want to refinish. So if you're pulling up carpet out of a room that you wanna refinish the floors, this is definitely recommended for getting the staples out, okay? So again, push that flat part. This is nice and flat and at a little point right there so that it will go right under the staples. You need to feel so you know which way the staple is running and then you can push that right under there and pull them right out. No damage whatsoever will occur to these um, when using this carpet puller or this staple puller right here to pull that out, okay? I'll show you right here in just a second. I'll get it up close and let you see what's going on with this and show you that there is no damage. The only damage is from the staple itself, okay? But again, if you're refinishing that, that will all be took care of in the refinishing process, okay? But this right here is great for not damaging your step or your floor if you're wanting to refinish, okay? All right, let's get a little closer look right there and see what's going on right here as far as damage. Okay, so this is it. This is one staple. Here's another staple. There's another staple. And so on, so on, so on, so on. Again, there is no damage except for where the staple itself was in there. The floor is actually in perfect shape. These are pine uh, treads that's on here. So you can not you can see a dimple right there. That's actually where the staple was sunk a little bit. Back here is completely smooth. No dimple whatsoever where I took the staple puller and pried the staple out, okay? This has a really smooth back on that. Can you see how that's kind of even rounded a little bit? So whenever you use that to pull up on the, sta on the staple, it works really good. It just kind of rocks up there. Again, these are pine, which is a really soft wood, and it did not even leave a dent in the pine risers. I mean, treads, okay? Okay, so since I am going back with a vinyl plank, I want to get all of these staples out as much as possible. These are actually underneath of the bullnose here where the carpet was stapled under the bullnose, where the carpet was stuck pretty good and kind of hard to get off there. So again, I'm going back with a vinyl plank, so I want to get these out as much as possible. I want to get all of these staples out, okay? Again, if there's one or two left, so be it, but I want to do my best to get them all out. If you can see that little bit right there, see that? It is stuck out just a little bit. So anywhere it's stuck out, I wanna go ahead and take my channel locks, which is gonna be the best thing to use in this case right here. Grab them and just roll it, okay? If you can get a hold of a staple and just roll it like so, that's gonna be the best way to get it out. Okay, so these are being a little bit of a bugger because they're in there so good, but see that? If you will stick the nose of this is flat, so if you grab with the nose flat like that and then pinch it, you're gonna have a lot better success than trying to grab at an angle like that, okay? So you definitely, definitely wanna get the angle right on these channel locks and grab it with the flattest part of it as possible. And you can have success, okay? It might be a little painstaking and it definitely is going to take a little bit of time, but this is necessary for putting anything on here except uh, going back with carpet. You definitely need to get this out for vinyl plank, laminate, hardwood, or anything. A carpet as far as that goes. As a matter of fact, you should always get them all out. So I'm not going to suffer you of sitting here and watching me pull all of these out. I'm going to 
and go ahead and get them all out and all cleaned up and we'll see what the steps look like once I get them all done. So right here I just want to show you that this little staple puller does work on the nosing of these steps. I didn't show you that a while ago, but again, I got this out all nice and clean without using anything but this right here, and it works great, okay? Again, if you're wanting to do it without damage, this is definitely the go-to tool for that, okay? So you can use it just like pretty much if you was on a flat surface. You're just going to stick your point right underneath of the stick the point of this right under the staple and pull it out just as if you was on a flat area okay you got to see like i noted a while ago you got to see what direction the staple is going so that you can get under there and then after that you just push your tool under there and pry it out it's just as simple as that now you're not going to win no speed award for this but you are going to get them out without causing a significant amount of damage okay so i just wanted to point that out that this staple puller will in fact pull staples out of the nosing of this as well okay okay so this is the steps after all the staples are pulled out i don't think that i missed one of them i think all of them was able to be got out uh, you can see how nice and clean they are we got again all the staples out now these steps here are definitely ready for some vinyl plank okay so thank you once again for joining in on this episode of steps i hope that this was able to help someone uh, maybe in their future installs or maybe just some diy person wanting to pull off and refinish some steps or do some sort of project on their steps themselves at home. Okay, so like always, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, FBSP's out.